Hey everyone, graphs and data still. So we're talking about bar graphs and double bar graphs today. A bar graph is just a graph that uses rectangles, right? Rectangular bars to show different values. Bar graphs can be vertical. This is a vertical or they can be horizontal when we go sideways. Right, so this bar graph shows favorite types of music, right? Maybe there was a, you know, a survey, all the fifth graders and GCISD were surveyed. Country was the most popular country music. How many people voted for, for, for country music? Twelve. Okay, something I want to show you with bar graphs. Look, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. The bar graph could have stopped here and been eleven. It could have stopped here and been seven. Okay, you have to look at the, 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 the axis, either the y or the x-axis, and determine, oh, what is the scale? What are the increments that this bar graph is measuring by? How many people liked alt-rock, alternative rock as their favorite music? Let's see, two, four, six, eight people. Instrumental music, music without words, without lyrics? Ah, only four people liked instrumental music. All right. I like instrumental music. You guys know that. <laughs> All right, favorite types of mu of movie. Okay, so comedy, action, drama, documentaries. Look, documentaries are the most popular. This is something I want to show you. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. That is tricky. It's not counting by two. It's counting by four, and then it's got these extra lines, right, that are a little bit lighter. So be careful and make sure that you're not just assuming what the number is. Count it out, make sure. So comedy looks like four, six, eight, ten people voted for comedy as their favorite type of movie. Action, four, eight, twelve. Look, so this is twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So what is right in the between twelve and fourteen? Thirteen. That would probably trick a lot of people on a start test. You're going to try to vote 14, but no, 14 is one higher. And look at this. So documentaries, that would be 20, 22, 24. So this is 23. It's tricky. Be careful with bar graphs. Be very careful. And then drama, 16 people liked dramas as their favorite movies. All right, so this is a double bar graph. I think the first thing you should notice is that each category, soccer, volleyball, track and field, swimming, golf, has two bars. Ah, there's a legend. Girls is red, boys is blue, okay? Or whatever color it's showing up on your screen. So this is fifth graders who played sports. It's a double bar graph. Soccer, how many fifth graders play soccer? Ooh. 24 girls, so that's 24, and then boys, 20, oh, two, two, four, six, so this is seven, 27. Ah, so three more boys played soccer than girls, okay? Volleyball, 19, because look, you have 18, 20, so this is 19, and this would be 12. Anytime that you see a squiggly, do you see how this is even? This is even integers. 2, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. Okay? To save space, sometimes bar graphs won't show all the way to zero because there's all these bars are even from this point to zero, right? So if you have this squiggly, it just means that, oh, the, 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 the scale is skipping from zero to, to 12, and then now it's consistent. Track and field, so we have 20 girls run track and field and then 18 boys. Swimming, 20 girls swim, 18 boys swim, and then golf, whoa, 22 boys play golf and 16 girls play golf. Cool. So this is a double bar graph and it's horizontal. Just to show you guys another, another example of something you haven't seen yet, so. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please call or text if you need anything. Let me know how I can help you.